People are laughing at me because I'm filming myself in the car. So it is makeathon time, and uh, we are going to try to control this car with this remote. So we are going to have this go to Bluetooth, go to Pi, go to Arduino, and then go to motor controllers, and we're going to have motors that control the steering, throttle, and brake. Uh, so we're going to try to do that in 24 hours. And to make it even more fun, we're going to have a camera mounted on a stock behind the car to give a third-person view of the car, which you can then display on a monitor in the back seat for real-world uh, backseat driver. It'll be cool. Guess what? It wasn't recording. <laughs> Because right you just took a video yeah, that yeah. was an idiot. The video failed. Feel bad. <laughs> this is Carter behind the camera. He doesn't know how to use an iPhone. This is, so. this is Carter messing up recording people. Yeah. Uh, we have Sean and we have Ryan. Yeah. Yes. They're all doing things. And stuff. And stuff. Stuff too. Yes. Okay. We are one hour in. We have this board cut in place of the foot mat. For the brake, we're going to use this linear actuator, I think, which will mount like that. And then for the throttle, we have a window lift motor, which will go like that. So we don't have a 3D printer this time, so I'm using shape lock plastic, which you just heat up in boiling water, and then you can mold to any shape uh, you want. So that's going to uh, let me do all the parts that are normally 3D print. We have the gas pedal pusher working pretty well. We are going to measure its position with the potentiometer, which David is doing right now. Uh, Sean and Ryan are working on getting the video feed and the uh, PlayStation remote wired up for control. And then this is going to press the brake. It's going to mount in like that. The problem is, is I wanted to see which way was extend, which way was uh, retract. So I just drove this with the battery, and I drove it into the back of the, uh, into the retract position. And now the uh, linear actuator is jammed. It's fixed, but that was a time-consuming mistake to have made. And we now have the throttle pedal mapped, so that if you give it a percent, it'll. Uh, go to the throttle position anywhere from 0% being not moving to full throttle at 100%. So the Arduino code all seems to be working. Yeah, just and, plug it in. Uh, Alright, I'll do it. You plug it in? Yeah. And what percent is this? This is 50%. So that's... Yeah, we might be able to move 50% up a little bit. That's pretty close to full throttle right there. Here I can like on the fly load it to 25 and you can see it go up. Okay. Oops, 25. Not much of a change, but the... Uh, the gas pedal. Awesome. That's interesting. Awesome, it's awesome. Down, right? But this one... Now, now, oh, 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 who knows? I don't They're know. all wired the same. They should all be. Yeah, well, they don't. Wait, so Kane's is open? Yeah, for the next three hours. Let's go to Kane's. Alright. Okay, so we got the steering mechanism working. These two cables will go cross and go to either side of the steering wheel um, and then the uh, potentiometer will mount to the center of the steering wheel. So the PlayStation remote doesn't work or can't work um, and then we don't have the dongle for making the Xbox controller work. So now we have made our own analog sticks and are going to try to make those wireless basically. That's the that's the goal. Okay. Maybe someone has an XP lying around. So we still haven't done a full scale test. We have a magic card. Alright, I just need to mount this to a board. We, uh, We're gonna make it line up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
that fits on like that. Okay, so. Wait, it's in park. It's in park right now. Can I break? Try breaking. I would not throttle it just because I don't know. Just try it. No, it's in park. Just jump. Do it. <laughs> I haven't thought much about how to attach the cable to the wheel. If I had extra time, I'd make it so that the wheel can spin the full range of motion. We don't have that extra time, so I have this cable just attached like this. Hopefully this will give us at least like 90 degrees left, 90 degrees right, so we can demo it. Um, it's sturdy. Yeah. <laughs> that, is, that is a word that I would not use to describe that, but... <laughs> Okay, so the safety people wouldn't let us actually test it, so the car is jacked up like this. And that's actually good because they do not want to drive it into a wall. Uh, we have the code all finished. So if we come in here, um, the uh, uh, custom joystick controller thing we made, we have throttle like that. And then we have brake. And then... We also have steering. So yeah, we'll be able to demonstrate this to the judges just with the car jacked off the ground like this.